So today I'm going to show you a, a agentic AI based code generator. Uh, so uh, what tools we'll be using are as follows. Uh, one is uh, NA10, which is an automation orchestrator. Then we'll be using a small Python code to provide the input so that the automation orchestrator or NA10 uh, agentic AI flow can start. And then we'll be using Gmail as a mailing system. And of course, we'll be using uh, OpenAI Chat GPT as an LLM model uh, from the AI aspect. Okay. So the scope of this uh, generation of code is basically we are going to generate ABAP classical code uh, from a technical design document which the user is going to provide. Uh, important thing to note here is that this workflow can be modified to generate other uh, code like other other uh, uh, code in other languages like for example Python, Java or whatever may be your choice of language. Now let me move on to the flow how this will work. So to start off with let me tell you that this will accept a PDF format document which we will be uploading through a small Python program which will basically trigger the NA10 uh, workflow as I said NA10 is going to be the automation orchestrator and this is the trigger point basically uh, this is the trigger point once it receives the uh, file which is a technical design document file it checks for the type of file it has received whether it is a PDF file or any other extension like docx or txt or anything if it gets anything other than uh, a PDF file uh, it will check that here and then uh, it will uh, send out a notification to the user saying that the file type is not valid and that is where it will stop. This is basically the error uh, handling mechanism of this entire workflow. But if it receives a valid PDF file, it will send out a success message through this node to the user and then it will extract the data from that PDF file. It will then pass it on to OpenAI to generate questions because um, the, the LLM might have some questions based on uh, the file that it has received or the data it has received from the PDF file. We will see in the demo how that works. And then it will send out an email asking all those questions to the user. The user will respond back to that email and that uh, response is this collected here. And then uh, the user response along with the file data that was extracted in this point will be concatenated together. And then it will be sent across to OpenAI chat GPT for code generation. Once the code is generated, the output will be formatted and then it will be passed on to a code critic. Code critic um, is something like which will analyze the code line by line and uh, tell the system that uh, how it can be made better or improved. Now, important thing to note here is that this code critic can be uh, divided into multiple agents, like for example, one looking at the syntax, another uh, looking at the formatting of the code, another looking into the security aspects of the code and all that, right? So it can be divided, but here for the sake of this uh, demo, I have just kept one which will cover all the aspects that I talked about, like the syntax, uh, the security aspects and everything, and it will provide a feedback. So it will provide the feedback through an if loop. So how this is designed is that the code feedback um, uh, will go through three rounds of iteration. Okay, so uh, first round it will do a feedback and then it will uh, see um, and, and it will pass on that feedback. If the iteration count is less than or equal to three, it will pass on that feedback to again to the code generation model, which will again output the uh, code and it will be formatted again, passed on to the critic, which will again check the code and then it will again go through the iteration count and then uh, the feedback will be passed on to the code generation. Like this, three iterations will continue to make the code better from uh, whatever it is generated uh, or generating in the first or second uh, iteration, okay? Now, once it reaches the iteration count of three, um, the code is then taken out and formatted once again and then uh, a code file is prepared 
which is form of a text file and it is mailed to the user so that is where the code um, the entire workflow will stop so on an overall this is what the wo uh, workflow will look like when we go into the demo uh, we will see how this works next coming up is the okay. demo so let's start the demo so this is the sap technical design document which will be acting as a trigger uh, for the entire workflow to start as i said All right and um, this will be uploaded through a python program which i'll show you in a bit uh, so let's first go over this document so you will see that this uh, document has multiple sections but not much of data you know how developers are right they are good at writing code but not maintaining uh, good at maintaining documents so most of the sections here are blank uh, apart from a few sections uh, which the developer has filled up so rest of the document is pretty much blank okay so and of course needless to say this is a pdf document which we will upload and trigger the workflow through the python program let me show you the python program this is the python program that i've written to upload the file uh, to trigger the workflow okay you can also get chat gpt or some other llm to write this code for you it's a pretty simple code okay so we'll run this a little bit later but first let me show you the n810 workflow so this is the overall workflow here um, it starts with a trigger as i said which will be once i press this button test workflow it will start listening for that file upload through that python program and then it will fetch the metadata from the file it will check the file type and then if it doesn't see that it is a pdf file then it will um, format a response to the user and send a response back to the user saying that it's not a valid file uh, they need to supply this workflow with a pdf file but if it finds that the uh, user has correctly uploaded a pdf file then it um, responds to the user with a success message then extracts the data from that pdf file formats that data sends it to chat gpt um, open ai model uh, chat of chat gpt and uh, from there if the chat gpt model has any questions it will uh, formulate those questions and send it to this uh, node where it will format the questions and send an email to the user uh, saying that uh, what are the clarifications it it needs uh, the user responds back and uh, the response is formatted and then the formatted response along with the um, uh, data that is gathered from the pdf document is uh, both concatenated here and then passed on to the code generation uh, node uh, where the code is generated uh, the code is then uh, given out to this node which is a formatting node basically to format the code send it to the code critic which will analyze the code uh, line by line from various angles like best practices security syntax everything and then uh, this thing will run uh, three iterations right so this iteration checker as to how many iterations it has run if it is less than three it will pass on the feedback and then the uh, along with the code that was generated in the first iteration and uh, both the things are then passed on again to the code generator and again the code formatting uh, critical analysis of the code this way it runs for three times once uh, it exceeds the iteration count of three uh, then mm, the code is again formatted uh, the formatted code is then written to a text file and then an email is sent to the user uh, where from where the user can download the file and check okay so this is how the entire workflow will look like so let me start this workflow and show you how it will work so let's do this i'll start this workflow once i start this workflow you see waiting for trigger event first i will uh, show you that if i uh, supply it with a file which is not in pdf format what happens so i'll run this code let's see so it is asking me for a file and it is also telling me that it should be a pdf file but by mistake let's say i upload a docx file let's see what happens so i'll 
put this as a docx file press enter and then it will uh, say that invalid file type please upload a pdf file how this happened is here uh, if you look at this so this workflow has run this branch of the workflow has run you can see the tick marks here so this means this has run which has detected that the file is not a, in a valid pdf format that's why this branch of the workflow was triggered now let me start uh, the test workflow once again and uh, upload the valid pdf file through the uh, python program once again and let's see what happens i'll run this program once again and this time i will give it a pdf file okay so i kept the names here for uh, easier reference so now i'll give it a pdf file Okay, now you see it's a success message that the file uploaded successfully. Let's go back to our NA10 workflow. Okay, so you see this is very fast. Even before I could could switch windows, this is this has all these nodes have already run because it has found a valid PDF file. It has generated the questions. It has sent the email also to the user, which took. So so this is these are some of the questions that it has sent. So I'll just copy these questions okay so it has opened up this window here i need to provide a response now what i'll do is that uh, all this if i start typing all these questions then it will take a lot of time so what i'll do is that i'll go to chat gpt and i will start a new session and then i'll ask it to give me the answers so i have just have a simple prompt here answer the following questions one by one in one or two sentences do not use any emojis so i will just paste it here and i just copy the questions from here okay so i just questions here and ask it to answer it so should be giving in me answers so it has started generating the answers So I'll copy these answers, then I'll go back to that response here and I will just submit it. So got it. Thanks. I'll go back to the here and I'll see that the it has format, it has accepted the response. You see the tick mark here, formatted the data, and then it it is sent to the code generation uh, node. It has out provided an output of the code and now the code critic is running so to analyze the code now it is checking it checked the max runs which is number of iterations it has collected the feedback and again gone back to the uh, code generation node so in this in this way it will keep on running for three iterations you see it has already run two iterations so you need to wait for another iteration to run so this is the third iteration which is running let's wait for a bit let me take you here so this is the last iteration running we'll see shortly that the okay it says workflow executed successfully so this is the final code a file that should be mailed to me now go, let me go back to that email let's see if it has sent yeah your final abap code so let me just download it okay so it has been downloaded let me go to my downloads folder here it is so this is the final code file that was generated as per whatever was there in the document and as per the feedback received from the user. So this is how it works. We can modify this uh, whole thing, whole workflow to generate code in other languages like Python, Java, um, .NET, whatever uh, you may want.
okay so with that uh, we've come to an end of this demo thank you very much for watching and hope this was useful